Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick and this is Sarah and with our two little dogs we're usually travelling around Europe in our 32 year old camper van. We've had our van for the last six years and been on some incredible adventures but over the last few months we've had some serious mechanical issues leaving us stranded in the UK and more recently in northern Spain. We're currently back at our base in Andalusia and surprisingly just passed our vehicle inspection. Hooray! However moments later we had to call a tow truck to get back to our village. Blooming nightmare. In last week's vlog we were back at the mechanics to fix our sticky brake situation and hopefully now that's the end of our mechanical mishaps. All what's left to do is clean the van inside and out then take him for a test run before hitting the road. Good morning guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our first night back in the van, yeah! It wasn't all that good though really, was it? Yeah, we both <laughs> had a really bad night's sleep. It always takes a few days to get into it <laughs> to again, get back doesn't into it? it? Basically, well I was cold, and Nick, I was really hot, he was sweating. Too hot. And then the worst part was there was a mosquito in the van and we actually bought the mosquito nets to put in last night, but we didn't put them in the windows. We, didn't, so we... we hadn't seen any, had we? <laughs> Typical though, one little little bugger flying around laughing at us. And then you hear the little bzzz, don't you? So that was a little bit frustrating. I managed to get off eventually and then this morning it was quite nice waking up to the bird song here. It was here. really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we haven't come too far from the village. Um, if you've been following along we just had some issues with the van, passes MOT with flying colours but then we had an issue with the brakes so we kind of got the brake pads tested and we wanted to make sure that that was shtiz that was the issue. Shtiz. That was shtiz. Shtiz. <laughs> so we haven't driven too far. We've just been testing the van out over this sort of last week and it's all good. So fingers crossed it will stay that way. The van is running sweet as a nut. Mm. So we're really happy. And not only that, have you seen the van guys? Have you seen how blinking gleaming he is? My favourite job this is. It's got a lot of mould. Been cleaned in probably more than six months. Gleaming now, bright, 
so handy this ladder we did buy it for the van so much easier for getting on top of the roof yeah definitely a must if you got a bigger van i think you're taking it a little bit too far now you think you think oh it's looking look. a lot better this stuff is brilliant this scratch remover thing removes most scratches not dents i think we've done a good job it's got to be one of my favorite jobs it's like an annual thing or twice annually thing but it's so <laughs> satisfying especially because vinnie's raised bit like the high top gets like almost like black with molds you don't really notice the top though do you unless you send the drone up bird's eye view or you're parked on someone's driveway and you look out the window and go oh my goodness look at yeah. the state of him and uh, the sunroof was black black and you couldn't mm. even do that with the jet hose we've never done the sunroof because there's a couple of cracks in it yeah and it would just break smash it off <laughs> so instead we've tried scrubbing it it hasn't really come off so mm. nick actually primered painted the mm. uh, the sunroof yesterday looks like we've got a new one check out that guys brand new sunroof Amazing. It's amazing. It's not until you do give a good wash to the van, good clean, that you, you realise how filthy it was. Yeah, we're really happy and we're ready for adventure. Yeah, Proper Vinny's ready. clean on the inside now, clean on the outside. We just need to pack him. Just need to pack up, don't we? Pack up and get out of here. Right. I've got a wet bum now. <laughs> you haven't you? with me, it was the bench. It was you, the bench. You've got <laughs> thick jockers on, so it's not gone through yours yet. I know you he... wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's really warm during the day at the moment, quite hot actually, but in the morning and at night, um, it gets quite chilly. Yeah, we still get like a quite, a quite a dew, don't we? So everything's wet in the mornings, hence the reason it's all lovely and green everywhere. But um, anyways, Right, so if you've been following this channel, you'll know that Nick and I cannot function on only one coffee. We need a second one, but we're not going to have a second coffee made from the van, are we, my love? No, that'd be too easy, that'd wouldn't it? would be too it? easy. And if you know this channel, you know we, think we don't like to do things the easy way either. Nothing. Nothing's ever easy. Come on, boys, this way. So guys, you're probably wondering where we are. Well, we're not going to tell you. It's a secret. Secret location. You know why? Because we're not actually that far from our village. We haven't travelled. We've driven for about half an hour. Yeah. We <laughs> uh, haven't actually been to this spot though, have we? No. And uh, apart from it being cold and mosquitoes and everything else, it was actually a very peaceful night's sleep. We're just on the outskirts of a little village. And um, there is a stream or a river or something just down this way that we haven't been to before. Yeah, over the last week, since the last vlog, as we said before, we were just gonna be doing little trips out to test the brakes on Vinny, get our confidence back before we head a little bit further afield. blind in one eye. Oh, in that left eye? Yeah, it's really glazed over. Can you see? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, he likes you, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he's blind in that eye. Anyway, onwards. This looks amazing. Beautiful river here, lovely eucalyptus trees, so lush and green, uh, but this little path is coming to a dead end. We can't go any further. We're blocked by the river. We need to find a little place to cross because this isn't suitable for what we want to do.
All right, come on, Enzies. You know, he can't begin his lordship wet. All the camera crewmen and Charlie safely across. So we didn't expect this. I don't know what we expected. A small stream. Like you could swim in there. There, there is nice little spots as well, and it just looks lovely. So basically guys, we are going to have our second coffee today using this. What is this you ask? Well, this is something that we actually got sent. It's a Kelly kettle and we've had it for like six months, but as you can see, the cellophane is still on it. We haven't even used it. Like we just haven't had the opportunity to use it at all this over the winter. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way. This is not a sponsored video, but we did get sent this um, to, to test out. And I'm actually really, really excited about this. So we're going to try and boil some water and make a coffee out here with the bits and bobs that we can find around us, basically. So to be honest with you guys, don't even know how to use this properly. I haven't looked at the instructions before or anything. We just literally haven't taken it out of the bag. And it, you get all like the little um, like camping stuff, like little pots and stuff, because you can cook food and boil water on this thing. Well, it changed. I was doing a nice little teepee thing and Sarah just knocked it all over and threw a load on <laughs> and says it'll catch. Right. Oh, look at this. So now we fill this little bit up with water. Um, we're just going to put like this size bottle, just a small bottle. Don't drop me litter. In here. Oh. I've been wanting desperately to use this little Kelly kettle since we got it. It says point down, so that's right. And then we just uh, basically... And then we just light this. Now it's quite good because we're in this sandy environment, so if anything gets a little bit out of control, we can just throw sand on. Oh. It's smoking. So obviously you've got the water that goes kind of round the outside of this jug and then obviously the fire comes through the middle type thing and then you and can heats cook the water. loads of thing on this fire because this is where the main heat's coming up yeah so we haven't looked into it properly but we've got different pots and things that you can put on top so you could do like a little mini breakfast i mean i guess you can do anything like heat stuff up so really looking forward to doing some food on it some really point. want some baked beans and like a full english breakfast Look at that guys, I don't know if you can see that. Look how big that fire is. And then you just add little sticks. You can put, yeah, I suppose you could just put them straight in the top. I'm just going, going underneath. Should have watched a YouTube video first, shouldn't we? But that's Sounds good. good, sounds roaring, doesn't it? This is so good. Is that a whistle? It's whistling. That means it's done. Oh, that didn't take long at all. Oh my that was... Oh wow! I didn't know it whistles. That didn't take long at all. I mean, we've only got like half a litre of water to test it out, but... That is so cool. That is so cool. Right, and then... Don't burn your hands, darling. What's... You know what you're doing. No, not really. Can you do it? All right. Take that off. Pop that there. And then I think to pour the water... Be careful you don't burn yourself. To take that off. And then you simply lift have to that get up. Hold on, we have to get Look the Look at that, it's so cool. 
Come on then, darling, get the coffee. Get the coffee, the cups. Oh, we did, we've only got one cup. Oh no, this is a cup, we've got two cups. Bags is the big one. So we're just having an instant coffee, guys. But you know what? We could actually put our coffee pot on top, couldn't we? <gasps> yeah. That would work, wouldn't it? And then yeah. extra water as well. Can't wait to like bring the whole shebang and you know try this thing out properly. Uh, right, so you can demonstrate pouring it into the cup now because I'm not sure how to do that. So that's why it says point down so you get the whistle. So ah. you just grab that like that. Oh. oh, it takes a bit of practice. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, oh, look at this. So that's two big cups of coffee. Nice. Oh, that coffee tastes better than it looks. It's just a weak instant coffee. But out of these really cool little camping cups, look at that, I love the silicon there so you don't burn your lips. Measuring everything. Tastes so good. Yeah! Cheers, darling. Cheers, darling. Yes, yeah. we will be doing some sort of like a survival type wild camping type thing, I reckon. So cool, we get all these little attachments. Look at that little grill. So you can do your toast. Whoa, little frying pan pot. Sits on there. Saucepan. Saucepan with lid. Well good. I think this one here and is so you handle. can yeah. you oh yeah. A handle. Yeah. So this one here I think is so you can just pop it straight onto like the little fire pit. And then you can cook like this. Look. Happy? Well happy. I really want to go and test it out now. We're not going to cook in the van anymore. So guys, you will see this thing. This Kelly kettle used on our channel again really soon. We are very, very impressed. And if you guys want to check these out, we will leave the um, link in our description, the Amazon link, so you can go and have a little look and perhaps get yourself one. Awesome. Sorry guys, just zoning out there. It's so peaceful here, it's so peaceful. All you can hear is the sound of the birds, the wind in the trees. If it wasn't for that little building, don't know what it is over there, you could just be in the middle of nowhere, doing like a survival thing. Just stay down here all day, it's lovely, lovely. No, we can't stay down here all day because we're both starving now mm. and we didn't bring any food, unfortunately. We could have cooked our whole meal on that little thing, couldn't we? So we are going to head back now, but yeah, so happy we found this little mm. location. We are going to come back here. This is a lovely little secret kind of hidden gem, isn't it? Can't believe it's here. We've never been here before, and it's like not far from our village on our at all. Oh, right on our doorstep. Just hidden away. What's going on Charlie? What's going on the side terrace? Oh, something's cooking. We've got peppers, red and green, onions, tomatoes, lemon, peas, rice, herbs. What's cooking darling? So guys, when your husband gets you a paella dish for Easter instead of an Easter egg, I think he's hinting at something, don't you? <laughs> So we're going to have, yes, you guessed it, paella for lunch. And we've gone from doing outside coffee in this vlog to outside lunch. Exciting. Always tastes better when it's cooked outside, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and hopefully this wind is going to hold off a bit. We're kind of sheltered here, kind of, so we should be all right. So this little side terrace here is actually bigger than our kitchen. So, you know, it's better to cook out here really, isn't it? Plus we've got the barbecue with a hob on it. And we've got that thing over there in the corner, which is two more hobs, 
two more gas rings and the grill, that's the little grill thing. So, yeah. you know, we're well set up out here. So we got onions and garlic in the pan, one onion and about five cloves of garlic. We're putting some red peppers in and some green. So guys, this is not an official paella recipe, paella recipe. Um, it's my recipe. It's how I do it. So please do not say that's not how you make paella. And if you know Sarah, you know she doesn't follow recipes and she doesn't follow um, ingredients, the, the rations, the amounts. the amounts of ingredients, just improvises with everything. So we've got onion, garlic and mixed peppers in there, been doing for about five minutes with some olive oil. Now we're going to throw in a couple of tomatoes, bay leaves, smoked paprika and this, which is what I picked up from the local uh, grocery store in the village and it's basically just like a paella seasoning mix, it's got some saffron already in there and uh, yeah, similar ingredients to what I've already used. So instead of adding salt and pepper, I'm using this. This pan doesn't look like it's gonna be big enough. So about five minutes later, we're gonna add the good stuff. Vino Blanco, white wine. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Sarah's kitchen, my phone's ringing. Oh, panic. Right, get the wine in, about, oh, that much. Now that smells good. I think it's time to get the rice in there. I'm using parboiled, don't judge me. Also gonna throw a bit of fresh parsley. Okay, just quickly stir, now this, is going to be the last stir. I think that's enough rice or you think we should add some more? I think that's probably enough, right? Safe space for seafood. Exactly. Looking good. Okay, so now we are going to add some vegetable stock, vegetable broth, I'm using this liquid one. And we don't stir the pan from now on. So that's been cooking for about another five minutes and now we are going to use this. This is like a little seafood mix. It's got like prawns and tuna and uh, clams and mussels and that kind of thing. So it's frozen, easy. Push it all in now. I knew the pan wasn't going to be big enough, I just knew it. So this is mine, then you're doing yours afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really fit everything in, but you know, it'll work out. I'm going to throw an extra few of these big prawns in as well. That didn't come in the mix, but we've got these. And just when you thought we couldn't get anything else into the pan, we're going to add some peas. Look at that, the peas de la resistance. <laughs> no stirring, no stirring. No stirring, I'll just poke all the peas down as I did with the seafood. <laughs> Here we go. And once all of the liquid has been absorbed and you've tried the rice to make sure it is cooked, it's ready to serve. And all I did was like, kept dunking the little fishy bits, seafoody bits under to make sure they're cooked. And yeah, there it is. It's delicious. I think just a little garnish of lemon. Look at this, how romantic is this? It's very romantic. And yep, there you go. Cheers, darling. Got to have a little uh, drop of white wine mm. if you're going to have paella. Mm. Cheers. They're really nice glasses, actually. Thank, Thank you. you Mum. Nick's mum and dad. And uh, yeah. Let's tuck in. 
and that is how you demolish a huge bowl or pan of paella. Cheers, I'm full up, I'm too full up actually. But Nick said, you can't reheat rice. So they say. So they say, we've never had a problem. I just told her that so we could eat the whole lot really. But um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely delicious. Give the Valencians a run for their money. I think we should make it a, a monthly thing now, paella. Do you think we can do it on that little uh, Kelly kettle? Oh, there's a challenge. There's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we had to get out of the house and come for a walk with the dogs. Just to walk off that huge paella. <laughs> <laughs> We're not used to eating that much during the day. Like, not all in one go. Not anyway. all in one go. Anyway, yeah, we've come for a little walk and then we were going to go and pack the van, but we decided we we're going to leave it for for tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow morning. We yeah. haven't got much to pack anyways, to be honest, because we're going really lightweight this time, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're leaving the village. We're going further <gasps> than further than we've ever no we're not <laughs> we're just we're doing a, a bigger trip though because you know why it's very special things are happening next week <gasps> two special things two very special things one of them's happening tomorrow sarah's birthday and then one of them's happening a few days later my birthday it's yeah. our birthday week <laughs> god it comes around quick doesn't it we have like the same birthday in the same week no we don't have the same birthday in the same week we have birthdays in the same a week apart we, within a week, it's yeah. both of our birthdays, so that's cause for a celebration, a little trip away. Yeah. So the van's clean on the inside, he's looking gleaming on the outside, as you saw. So just packing. Um, we don't know where we're going. We'll be taking you lot with us, but we're going somewhere. We're getting away and it's going to be fun. Yeah. You're not too used to the house now, are you, darling? A little bit, a little You're bit. You're going to be able to manage back in that little tiny van, aren't day, you? A day back on the road and we'll be all right, as long as there's no mosquitoes. Just join us next week to see where we end up. Um, send us some birthday wishes in the comments, because why not? Why not indeed? <laughs> How you enjoyed this vlog. We didn't travel too far definitely be traveling for the next week yeah so stay tuned stay tuned guys and thanks so much for watching we will see you all next thursday make sure you subscribe and follow us on our other socials because there's other stuff going on there daily updates guys daily take care guys see you next week right my butt's wet now that bench is wet isn't it yeah is, is your butt all right my butt's all right yeah <laughs> nick's got thick joggers on mine's gone right free to me bottom Mine's gone right through to the bottom. <laughs>